forget the F-35, Britain is already planning for a sixth-generation fighter. Britain is expected to begin outlining its path to develop a sixth-generation fighter jet, according to media reports. On July 4, the Financial Times reported that Britain is expected to at least announce a commitment to begin building the sixth-generation fighter by 2020. This followed an earlier report from Defence News that expectations are growing that London will use a huge gathering of international Air Force chiefs in the United Kingdom in mid-July to outline a strategy leading to development of a new generation of fighter jets for the post-2040 era. The national interest noted last month, France and Germany have made progress in a joint programme to develop a sixth-generation fighter. In specific, Paris and Berlin recently announced that France would take the lead in developing the new planes. Germany and France had signed a 10-page common requirements document outlining the capabilities the next generation fighter should possess. Along with saying that France would take the lead on the plane's development, Paris also announced that work on the plane will begin this year, starting with a study phase. Although Berlin and Paris have left open the possibility of a country like Britain joining the program later on, some have seen the move as a response to London's decision to leave the European Union. This appears to have energised Britain to show some of its own progress, although how much is unknown. Along with outlining a 2020 timeline to award a contract for the plane, the Financial Times reported that the announcement will set out policy goals, future requirements and timelines for certain milestones on a future fighter programme. The British newspaper said it is unclear if funding will be announced at this time. A couple of factors limit how far Britain can go with regards to the sixth generation fighter. The first is that London does not know which country, or countries, it will be partnering with to develop the plane. It is almost universally accepted that Britain doesn't have the resources to build the plane by itself. The hope is that making some unilateral progress will help entice a partner or perhaps multiple partners. One option is that eventually London will join the German Franco program. But there's some complications with that option. For starters, as already noted, Berlin and Paris might want to exclude Britain to make an example of it for leaving the EU. In addition, some observers believe London will need its fighter jet sooner than Germany and France. Other potential partners include Turkey and Japan, but those options present their own set of problems. For instance, Base Systems, a British firm, has already agreed to help develop the TFX fighter program with Turkey. But that program has run into issues with technology transfers. Britain and Japan have already discussed collaborating on a next-generation fighter. But Japan does not have the same experience building planes as some other countries. When building planes like the F-2 multi-role fighter it has relied heavily on international expertise. This could be attractive to Britain, however, as an English firm, likely base systems, could take the lead. This is something that London is expected to demand. In addition, collaborating with Japan would be a powerful symbol of England embracing a post-European turn in its foreign policy. Other potential partners for Britain include Sweden, Italy, and the United States. Indeed, the Financial Times is reporting that London is in talks with Sweden about collaborating on the programme. The other reason to temper expectations on the British announcement is that there is no agreed-upon definition of what a sixth-generation fighter is. And, given the rate of technological innovations, it is probably unwise to decide on the technologies 20 years in advance although development times requires countries to begin thinking about this now. There are a number of potential characteristics that could define a sixth-generation fighter. Tim Robinson notes some possibilities, including planes with all the characteristics of fifth-generation fighters plus directed energy weapons and slash or hypersonics. Another possibility that Robinson throws out is that sixth-generation fighters will simply be highly affordable fifth-generation fighters. One capability commonly discussed with regards to sixth-generation fighter jets is whether they will be unmanned or not. Artificial intelligence is likely to play a major role in the next generation of fighters, and each plane is likely to control a larger fleet of drones or other unmanned entities. Regardless, 
these sorts of issues need to be decided before any country makes any progress on building a six-generation plane.